Hello. For this module, we are going to be talking about cascading style sheets, also known as CSS. This is going to allow us to be able to implement fonts, colors, font sizes, styling, positioning, and any other sort of customization. What we are going to try and do in this step is try to get our website to look more like our um, site wireframe that we had built earlier. So when you go to your website right now, it's going to look something like this. Very, very plain, no styling, just some information for now. And you should at least have a header and a footer, and you may have something in between in your body. So we can close out of that. And we're going to start by making a new folder and it's going to be named style so that we know all of our styling is in this folder. And for this part, we are just going to start with a style.css. Now, this style.css is going to be the universal styling across all pages. So our star is going to allow us to select all elements. Um, so it's just a nice shortcut for things that we're going to be using throughout our website. So we can say font family, and we're going to set that to sans serif. And then we're going to have font size. And we could set that to 1.1 rem for now, just so we can get an idea of what it looks like. Now that we have a styling sheet with some different styling, we're now going to want to come to our HTML. Now we're going to want to add in our styling sheet. To do that, you're going to make a link tag and you're going to say aria equals. Now say it's a style sheet. Then we're going to give it a link. So href equals, and remember we're going into href styles. Inside of styles, we're going to select the style.css. Then we're going to close that, save. When we open up our website again, of sans serif font, and now my all of my text is 1.1 rem. Uh, we can look at that again by saying, let's make it big, we'll say, Let's just say three RAM, so it's really big. Now it's huge text. So we're going to go back to 1.1 RAM. I think that is a good size. Now, in order to just select individual elements, you just have to simply state which elements you're wanting to change. So for example, I could say I want to change my header because my header styling does not match with the styling I had made for our site wireframe. So we can do things like position and it can be relative or fixed. My, I want my header to have a fixed position like my wireframe. I can add things like box sizing or box shadows. I'm going to add a box shadow and I'm going to say zero, two pixels, two pixels, zero. So it'll have zero pixels, two pixels, two pixels, zero pixels. And I'm going to set that to the color or RGBA of zero, 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 zero point one six. I'm then going to add a width for my header, and I want the header to go the length of the site. So I'm going to just simply say 100%. So that way it scales for every device. I'm going to display flex. I'm going to give my flex direction 
in rows because I want my all of my content to be in a row. I can give it a background color. And I'm going to, we can make it crazy for now. We can say brown for now. That way it really stands out. We can give it a font weight as well. So we can say font weight, and we could say 300. Now we're going to want padding so that there's, it, it makes it have space in, in the header. So not all the content is going to be touching up against the edge of the header and everything looks a little bit nicer. So we, we could say something like 15 pixels right now. Um, justify content, we're going to want everything centered. So we just say justify content center. So now with some heading changes, we now have a header with my name, a home and about me. Um, Another great tool we can start by using is by using our star 